Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silfen. In today's video we are taking a look at Lifesteal, Health, and Health Regen. We are using math and some simple conclusions we can draw from the current meta to better understand what are the various benefits of each of three's three stats. Monolith has changed so much, so it is key that we understand what is going on when we talk about Lifesteal, um, which has definitely changed quite a bit. It itself hasn't changed, but a lot of that effects it has. Health has been nerfed into the ground, so we need to understand that a little bit better. And health regen, because of the other two, has also made a little bit of a change. So if you are interested in learning about those three things, this video is for you. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Really isn't that bad here uh, when we take a look at the actual math part of it. This big black blob is all of the trends and the conclusions and the implications that we have drawn, saving that for later. So lifesteal, health, health regen. There's a few variables we need to consider and some little kind of stats that we also need to take into account. DPS, lifesteal is based on damage. It gives you life for a portion of the damage that you deal to the enemy. Health is just health. You equip it, you get that, and it increases your maximum total health. Health regen gives you health over time. So we need duration here in order to effectively include health regen into this equation. Over time, we need time. Also with DPS, because we need to consider how much health we gain over a period of time uh, in order to best look at exactly what does it give us. Some few things here. I do have a video coming out later on, hopefully soon, um, based on the damage that people do now in Monolith. And oh boy, is it crazy. Some people are suggesting that the damage, attack speed, and crit formulas have changed, but in my experience here, looking at what the math says and then going in-game and trying it out, it's not that different. I don't think they've changed it. I don't think they could have changed it because there's not much in the formula they can kind of change. It's pretty simple. So I, I don't think so. I think that these are correct. A whopping 650 freaking DPS for a 50 CP damage Murdoch with five in the crit bonus and five in lifesteal, what have you. And then a 45 CP fighter, Greystone, being 429 DPS. Monstrous. So those are some of the um, assumptions we are going to be making. Believe me, in-game it certainly seems like you're dealing that much on a, as a Murdoch, and that fighter, that's a lot of damage. So haven't, haven't uh, tried a fighter with that much CP into damage yet, but hey, we're going, we're about to. Anyways, let's go into the math. One column for CP. So one CP of health here gives you 50. Gives you 50 health. That's about it. it gives you 50 health. Uh, one CP of health regen working over 36 seconds gives you 50 health. There's a reason why we picked 36 seconds here. Over a 36 second window of actively regenerating health. That is key. You aren't at full health. You are at less than full health. Actively regenerating health for, for 36 seconds gives you 50 mats, 50 health. You can see there's a reason. And lifesteal, dealing 650 DPS um, over 36 seconds with one CP of lifesteal, it gives you 585 damage. 585 health, rather. Wow. As you can see here, as we go down, health and health regen are almost the same. It's, it's like 35.7 seconds or something like that. So as you can see, that is the window where health and health regen kind of cancel out. Life Seal is obviously a beast here, dealing that much damage over that amount of time. Now, if we change this duration, what can, else can, it, for different situations, what can we glean? Now, here we have a five second Whatever, a five second period of not being at full health. Five second team fight, perhaps, which certainly seems to be the duration of most of these terribly bursty team fights. So here's a five second team fight as a Murdoch dealing 650 DPS, which, yep, that's a lot. One CP, let's go to five CP of lifesteal, 406 health, 
over that five second window that you have regenerated just by dealing damage to the enemy. L health, of uh, five CP of health gives you 250 health. That's a solid, a nice solid amount that you can always rely on. It'll always be there as long as you start at full health. And then health regen, as we can see, only 35 health. Health regen, five second window, that's not enough time for it to be really useful. And if we go even more here, we go down to say about nine CP, three, three point drains or something like that, about that 731 health. That is a fair amount in a five second window. And uh, the health obviously being 450, which is a, that's, that's, that is a good amount. Not going to lie, 63 health again for the health regen, not that much. If it was a 10 second window here, we could see that this would be 1400 health in a 10 second team fight. That is huge. That is huge that you would be able to regenerate again, not at maximum health, but um, health wouldn't change in 10 second window and health regen would be double and 120 again, not that significant. So um, if we switch this to a Greystone fighter, what else can we gleam from this? math well almost the same not dealing as much damage but as we can see here lifesteal is almost the same it's a little bit more uh, than th than health is and of course mana regen trails tremendously however if we brought this to about 10 seconds a 10 second skirmish where you know a fighter graystone a gr graystones they last a long time they have two lives so you're going to be uh, around a team fight for much longer. If this was 10 seconds, even 15 seconds, life steal pulls out so much. This would be 960 health in a 10 second team fight. If that is a 15 second team fight until you finally die at the end, or hopefully live, that's 1500 health. You can see life steal is all of a sudden much more important. So, with that in mind, what are some conclusions and trends we can draw from this? So, here we go. Some, 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 some pretty clear things that we can observe from the math here. Health regen gives more health after 36 seconds, only when not at full health, however. Therefore, the implication from that is early game, especially in the early game, especially as an off-lane fighter, a support, in uh, support with the ranger really anybody there in the early game split push heroes junglers even might benefit more from health regen the relative performance of health regen to health has been changed dramatically this used to be 72 75 seconds now it's only 36 health regen is much stronger relative to health now more than ever so you need to consider health regen especially if you are a off-lane fighter oh boy you need health regen observation number two lifesteal gives more health after three to five seconds of sustained damage dealing four high damage rangers anywhere from 550 to 650 dps that is crazy high damage rangers will benefit more from lifesteal if the friendly team can protect their carry they will be able to monstrously regenerate their health like nobody's business as long as they are allowed those three to five seconds to regenerate their health after a big burst or something that doesn't kill them they will be able to sustain it's insane observation number three lifesteal gives more health after five seconds of sustained damage for most bruisers bruisers might benefit or eh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't call them bruisers anymore because that's, that is a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't call them bruisers anymore, but bruisers might benefit more from lifesteal if they aren't focused and nuked down. Anywhere 400, 430 DPS about there, that is what um, fighters with a lot of damage are doing at the moment. So it's lifesteal looking really, really good. Observe, observation number four, health is more effective in all cases, no matter what under the three second window and varies in effectiveness from three to 36 seconds where health regen starts to pull away. Now, obviously health will provide more security for high priority targets if you are the ranger, uh, an assassin, something like that, it will provide you more security. That is a buffer that doesn't rely on any other variables. It's just health is there. 
Health is health. It's there. While low priority targets that stay alive longer will benefit from other stats more in pretty much all scenarios. Pretty much all scenarios. Because after five seconds for for, for a fighter to get more health back from than, than health, that's pretty much in most scenarios. So health, boy, if you really need that 450 buffer for, you know, that three second window, I would say go for it. Obviously, it's going to give you a buffer, but there's not very many scenarios anymore unless you're getting completely nuked, like just deleted. Just one Mississippi, two delete. Like you're, you're dead. <laughs> Health will be more effective. Now, here are some generalizations that I've chosen to make about the game itself and with the topic of lifesteal health and health regen. Statement one, the early game is defined by long occupations of lanes and jungles. It is. You're trying to stay in lane for as long as freakingly possible so that you can get that CP, level up, become powerful, create an advantage, abuse that advantage. That's what that early game is for. Conclusion, health regen then might be best because you aren't really dealing that much damage. Nobody is really dealing that much damage in that early game. Uh, so lifesteal is hurts, it gets gets hurt s severely, right? You're not, if you don't have that damage, you're not going to regenerate very much from it. So be health regen might be best due to low damage output and long occupations in the lane. We give this enough time, ladies and gentlemen, health regen will supersede health. And even because of the low damage that all heroes are doing in that early game, lifesteal won't be that effective. Health regen is definitely best in the early game, especially for that offlane fighter, like we've already mentioned, in that early game. Very, very strong. In the mid game, however, statement number two. The mid game is defined by multiple skirmishes and team fights across lanes and jungles. Mid game, you might have a tower down. Uh, on the enemy team, you might have a tower down. People are rotating more to try to create some numbers advantages to take down some towers, get a, get a pick. So more skirmishes, more team fights are more likely to happen there in the mid game. That's simply how it is. So lifesteal might be best due to the medium damage output, starting to get there, and numerous long skirmishes and team fights. So they're going to get, you know, you know, the 1v2 lane, they're going to be a little bit of a skirmish and somebody's going to rotate to make it a 2v2, a little bit of a fight. And then the enemy team, one person comes in and makes it a 3v2. Then all of a sudden, right, there's like a long drawn out sort of back and forths in, 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 in the mid game lifesteal because starting to deal more, uh, quite a bit more damage now, especially fighters, they're going to have the chance to let lifesteal do its thing. Lifesteal might be best in that mid game um, in order to best sustain. Statement number three. Late game, however, is defined by relatively infrequent large team fights and pushes. Trying to group up, grab or prime, get a win a team fight, barrel down a lane, get to, get get two towers, etc. Late game is defined by relatively infrequent now large team fights and pushes still however and this is a change from the legacy version of this video lifesteal might still be appropriate due to the high amounts of damage being dealt for most heroes most heroes strict tanks strict supports obviously they don't deal the damage that lifesteal needs they just need that buffer with some health regen to 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 you know to keep them in lane after after they win that team fight to support their other heroes while they push down a lane they just need that buffer but for everybody else that deals like crazy amount of damage lifesteal might be still be appropriate in the late game due to the high amounts of damage being dealt as we've seen all these high range high damage rangers and even the bruisers even the fighters they only need three to five seconds for pete's sake insane i think if you can survive for that long with some good positioning in a team fight oh boy life steal will serve you well and statement number four it is best and wanted you want to do this 
to utilize the advantage gained from winning a team fight or from good split pushing. Conclusion, Lifesteal will be best to regen health after skirmishes team fights while pushing a lane. Kind of arguable. Maybe you want to slow push a lane, but I would argue if you win a team fight and the enemy team is dead, and within that 100, 100 and 120 second window, you want to push that lane as far as fast as possible, get that tower, get that inhibitor, etc. So, because you're dealing damage while you're doing that, lifesteal will be best. It is best and wanted to utilize the advantage gained from winning a team fight or from good split pushing. You don't want to win a team fight and then have to go back, right? Waste time, get some cards. Get your health and mana back, traverse across the map, you've wasted time. What you want to do is go immediately back into lane, let mana regen and lifesteal give you back your resources so that then you can have a good team fight, a good, you know, good core battle, etc. etc. Lifesteal still is best. Now there is a caveat that I kind of mentioned in in in, in the early in, in earlier in the video, lifesteal and health regen both depend on not being at full health. Please, oh, please, please remember that while lifesteal benefits greatly from high amounts of damage, that it has been pretty clear. So, summary, lifesteal is damn good. Lifesteal is damn good. In the early game, get that health regen, especially if you were a off tank or an off lane fighter. Oh my goodness, get it. Get some health regen. Pretty much anybody, maybe really consider that healer token. If you're anybody, if you're anybody, consider it. Boy, is it good. Um, get that, and a, and a mana potion if you're a caster. Get the healer token and a scout's ward if you are the uh, support and for, for your ranger. Rangers, they should be able to get three strike tokens. Boom. Um, but, hey, there you go. There you guys go. There is lifesteal health and health regen. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully there isn't anything that I'm totally off my rocker about, forgetting about, looking at something too strangely or not at a, at a correct angle. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like this video if I like it, dislike it, if it dislike it, share it with the community guys. A lot of people I think can learn from this and I just want to spread what knowledge I do have. Please subscribe, especially if you guys like this. There's lots more uh, content like this coming. Math guides etc so please subscribe if you simply liked my content or enjoyed it a lot please till next time guys like always stay optimistic and positive